What are we even doing here? Gefilte fish, that's right. It's not even in a can. It remains to be seen if I'll even regard it as fish after I'm done with it, but I've always found it intriguing. You know, every year around Passover time at the supermarket, they move all the matzah products and jars of this stuff to the end of the aisle and they market it pretty well. And I see it and I've always thought, gosh, that looks neat. I wonder if I would like it. Well, today I'm going to find out. That's right. It's Manischewitz brand premium gold gefilte fish, gelled broth. Gefilte fish, gefilte fish, gefilte fish. I stumble over the word every other time. Uh, you know, I've practiced a lot. I want to say gel fight because it's got like a jelly broth. So I want to make it like G E L, but I guess that that's not what it is. You know, ingredients, water, fish, Cisco or carp, onions, eggs, sugar, matzo meal, carrots, potato starch, salt, pepper. My friend from Russia said that back in the day they used to eat it like, oh, whenever. And um, I guess I, I gathered it's kind of like a meatloaf style product where you just have a certain amount of protein for the whole family and you want to stretch it in a way to where everybody has something to chomp on instead of like a cup of ground beef or however it works out. Well, how else do you think we're going to turn two pounds of ground beef into 11 pounds of mouth-watering meatloaf? <laughs> okay, all right. Lid was really on there. Tight, gives me a lot of confidence. In a major canned fish file swerve, I'm gonna use a fork and a knife because um, that just seems appropriate, right? And um, first I'm gonna try this just right out of the dang jar, like you know I should. Look at it there. So it's like a little patty. <laughs> Let me grab one of these carrots too. And then later on, I'm gonna heat this stuff up some. I'm gonna heat it up on the stove. And I'm gonna, um, and I'm gonna, you know, eat it that way. Cause I think that's kind of how you do it. Uh, so right away, I mean, what kind of broth is this again? It's not so obvious. Uh, yeah, it's not a broth made from some other kind of protein. And this sort of, it's not too gelatinous actually, it's its its soupy. I don't know how, how well you guys can see this. I'm just gonna pour some out. That was weird. Uh, kind of sweet tasting. I mean, it's got, it's got sugar in it. I'm gonna try this carrot. Carrots, nice and sweet, cook through, nice and soft. Let's just go, man, let's just go. Slices up like a charm. I'm into this, man, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. Kind of a unfamiliar smell, but you know, I don't go around sniffing cold fish balls either, you know? Wow. Um, yeah, definitely a little bit more crumbly than I thought it might be. You see, I, I, I cut it here and there's not much to see on the inside. There's not really like discernible fish parts in here, at least in this brand, you know, how they made it. I can't vouch for how close this would be to the world's average um, gefilte fish. Is it fishy? Yeah, yeah. I guess it's I guess it's a little fishy. Um, maybe there's some kind of umami thing happening. Um, it just it's very active in your nose. You kind of you kind of taste it upstairs pretty well. You smell it there. It's not quite as satisfying a texture as like a fish ball that you have in soup or like artificial crab meat or other kinds of sort of fish sausage that you have 
in Asian foods. It doesn't have that kind of a bite, but uh, I'm gonna warm it up on the stove, and see what happens. Gee, golly gosh. <laughs> Presto. Got it in here. Oh, look at it. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Get one out here. Ooh. Now in the pictures, you always see it with a slice of carrot. Huh? To be pretty? Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. How do you like that? Now, I think if I cooked it very much longer, it would have fallen apart. And I don't think you want this to be hot, hot either. Okay, let's, let's see what happens. Carrot plus loaf. Okay, that's um, that's even closer to, hey, I'm just eating some kind of ordinary Western food. Maybe some of the flavors are turned down a little bit. Really delicate and subtle flavor. I kind of dig it. Oh man, you know what I forgot? What? Be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was told to um, get this horseradish and beet sauce. I don't know if this is the exact one, but this is definitely beets and horseradish. And this is kind of a, a garnish. It's a good fill to fish. I think it might end up being a garnish for a lot of things around here. Well, because I'm going to end up with a bunch of it. Let me take a look at that. Fun. Yeah. Gosh. How good. I mean, I love horseradish. Man, you can put this on a steak, you know? Whatever. Shoot. All right. Let's 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 just get some up on here. I don't know how you would do it if, if this was your idea, you know? Son of a gun. Uh, the textures at least go together real nice. You're still tasting the fish, but this is definitely the, the full spectrum flavor that you're looking for, that you're not getting with just the gefilte. All right, guys, what's the verdict? If you're a canned fish freak, I wouldn't say, hey, you gotta try this. I like weird fishy stuff. If you're kind of in that category, definitely try it. Very exciting, very fun. Happy Passover. Happy Passover? No, no. Who knows? Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, this Saturday, live streaming sardine eating, Saturday, April 3rd, 2021, 2 p.m. Eastern time. The canned sardines subreddit is doing a can of the month group review where everybody's gonna drop a review on there of Bella's in olive oil. Get to r slash canned sardines for details on that. I'm gonna stream my own not really a review on Saturday, April 3rd, 2021 at 2 p.m. New York time. Bring your own can and scarf them along with me. Let's get oily. And I don't like the nag, but if you don't wanna miss it, make sure you subscribe or hit the bell or make sure your app's giving notifications. Whatever you gotta do, Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Thanks. Bye.